If you are already working in Airtable and you need a quick visual and good enough document to share or print, the Page Designer is a great option. Now, it's not perfect, but when you need something in a flash, it gets the job done. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps, and integrations. All right, let's say you run a service business. You're already using Airtable to track your hours, jobs, and client info. So rather than exporting all of that info out or copying and pasting, God forbid, into another tool, you can use the page designer to generate documents, contracts, invoices, reports, proposals, and more. Plus, it'll dynamically populate your live data. So let's check it out. So here we have our sales hub, and it's the place where we manage our sales pipeline, our accounts, leads, contacts, sales reps, as well as our contracts, quotes, invoices, and services. You'll notice that we have three separate services, an hourly rate, by project, and monthly. And these are directly pulled into our invoice line items here, which amounts the total value that our client needs to pay us. So how can we turn these invoices into actual documents, PDFs that we can then send over to our client without actually leaving Airtable? Well, we'll do this with the page designer. So we can see tools in the top right corner, select extensions, and you will need to add a new extension within your dashboard here. You can add multiple dashboards that withhold multiple extensions, but we're going to jump into add an extension and we're going to search for, you guessed it, the page designer. So we'll add that, wait for it to load. And as you can see here, we've got a document that we can edit. It's opened, it's beautiful, and we're ready to jump in and dynamically populate our data. And this will open up the page designer. Here we can see we've got the invoice number. This is dynamic. It's dynamically pulling through the record from our invoices table. If we go to the next record, we'll notice the invoice number changes. Same as the account. If we pull that through, that'll load. We can see client name Delta. If we go back to the previous, it's Acme Corp. But let's delete this. And we're going to quickly build a beautiful invoice that we can then download and share with our client. Yes, the page designer enables you to generate beautiful, professional, and quick documents. However, you can only access them by downloading them. You won't be able to add them to an automation or send them off from email directly from your Airtable base, which is a limitation. But let's look at how we can build a beautiful invoice. Now, if for some reason you jump into your page designer and you don't see those correct fields on the left side panel here, they don't match your invoice or your contract fields, whatever you're trying to create. You want to jump up to the top left, select page designer, select settings, and ensure that you have the correct table selected. That's a pretty common mistake and one that you can fix easily. But let's jump into the page designer itself. Firstly, let's add an image to this. We want it to portray our business after all. So let's include our logo. Now you will need to include a URL where your logo or your image is housed in order for that to be pulled through. But excitingly, this means that you can also use dynamic images from your base. Let's say for instance, you want to include a client logo or image. Well, ensure that your base has the public URL where that image is stored and you can directly pull it through here. But for our use case and invoice, we're going to include a static logo. Sweet, so I've included the company logo. Now let's add some other things to our invoice. Okay, so I quickly added some things that are starting to make it look like an invoice. We've got the issued to, pay to, invoice number, date, due date, and a table of line items here. So what we've done is we've included static text. Now you can notice on the side panel, you can add text images or directly bring in your fields. Now, if we select amount, we'll notice that this is the amount of the invoice. Whereas if we select something like account, for example, you'll notice that we have that table set up here, which we can change to list or inline. Beyond that, if you want to edit or format the text, you'll just select it. And in the side panel, we can change the position as well as what the content is the font, style, weight, et cetera. So jump in and play with those. But we're actually looking at bringing in our data. Now, you'll notice that we can actually directly mention or reference a field to bring it in. So issued two, this should be the account. And I'll close that. And there we can see that Acme Corp has been brought through. But if we go next record, it'll change. As we said, it's dynamic. But we have an issue. Because we can't actually configure our text that lie within the same box to be different weights. As we can see, if we change that, it'll change the entirety of the text box. So if we want this to be properly formatted, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to create multiple 
text elements or just directly bring in the account information by selecting it and of course changing it to inline we can also filter but we're not going to dive too deep i'll let you jump into that but you'll notice straight away that there is a slight limitation in setting this up because well we want to build beautiful documents right so the fact that we have to have two separate text boxes next to each other in order to make it look pretty well you also need to consider the fact that we have dynamic data it's not static it's ever-changing so when we include an address below this field here some addresses will be longer than others and so you might have a clunky document but let's continue building this out now i'll just quickly bring this in before we take a look at the line items now something else that i really do need to mention is because we're working with dynamic data you will need to ensure that your text boxes can fit any and all text that will be any and all size what i'm basically saying is if you have a long client name or a long address if your text box is not large enough to withhold that text then you're going to see a cut off title let me just quickly show what i mean for this acme corp if i move this as we can see on the acme is shown it doesn't take into account the size of the text so there's another limitation of the doc editor okay so we've added the details for our payee our payer as well as the invoice number invoice date and due date now very important in an invoice we need to include our line items because you need to get paid for the work you and your team have done so we'll jump out of the page designer and we've got our jobs table this is where we're tracking the hours that our team have worked we're pulling in a service directly from our services table which brings in the rate we then include the hours that we've worked of course the account that we're doing that work for is included and this brings us a total amount and connects directly to an invoice so if we take a look at our invoices we'll notice that we've got the jobs included there so what we're going to do is jump back into the extensions but first what we need to do is we need to actually ensure that our invoice table has those line items or the details included so it's all well and good that we've got jobs but we actually need to include a lookup field and bring in we'll just select jobs bring in the rate which we already have here and bring in the hours which we'll create a field for and also bring in the total amount because we were currently using rate and we now have the hours which will be the unit of measurement and the total amount from jobs there so we'll jump back into the page designer extensions edit layout there we go okay so back in our page designer what we're going to do now is create our service line items or our line items for this invoice pretty important because you and your team need to get paid now we could include the line items here however because this is directly connected to the invoicing table and not the jobs table we won't be able to actually pull in our lookup fields let me just quickly reiterate what i mean if we jump out we know that we brought in a lookup field for our hours and for our total amount well even though this is now residing within our invoices table we can't actually bring it into a table to match our service line items over here so let me just quickly jump into the layout here we've got that service name now if we add another column to this you'll notice that hours is not available but we do see jobs what we'll actually need to do is add a table for our jobs we'll move that over here and then we can select to add a column and then select hours and then also select the total amount we'll also of course want to include the rate and just move that up and there you can see the rate hours total amount of course you will want to format that so it is a currency value for the total amount but that's how you do it that's how we brought it in now we can also drag this out and you will need to depending on how many line items you expect your invoice to include let's say for instance we could fit 10 here after that 10 amount they're not going to show so again that is an unfortunate limitation of the page designer now once you finalize that you will want to include a static text element down the bottom here and this will be where you include your pay details for instance you want to be paid into a certain bank account or maybe you have a payment link well you'll want to include those there make it all nice and pretty perhaps include another logo down the bottom there make sure that this document feels beautiful professional and portrays your business from here once you're done you're happy just select done editing or you can directly print it 
Whenever you want to download a PDF invoice, well, you just open up your extension. You'll see the option to print. You can then save that PDF, print it. And if you want to attach it directly to your invoice line item, then you'll just need to add a file attachment here and then you'll upload it. Now, like I said earlier, a limitation of the page designer is that we can't programmatically or automatically have that PDF attached to the file. You'll have to download and then re-upload it. If you do want to learn what other options are out there that are better than the inbuilt native page designer, make sure to check out the description of this video where I've linked multiple videos on how you can create and generate contracts, invoices, and more with Airtable. Well, I hope this was a helpful video. If it was, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. And if your team needs help getting set up on Airtable or automating parts of your business, then do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com, where a team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.